Now, a News 5 community alert. Grave concerns this evening about an abnormally lethal batch of drugs on the streets. A sheriff's office in Florida says two men died this morning. And in Mobile County, questions surround the mysterious deaths of two people found inside an SUV this afternoon. 42-year-old Robert Special and 33-year-old Lisa Wilson. Look through the branches of the trees and you'll see yellow crime tape surrounding a blue SUV. What deputies discovered in the back seat this afternoon is very disturbing. A, a white male and white female, um, the, uh, no obvious signs of trauma and um, there, there is drug paraphernalia inside the vehicle. Um, the vehicle was locked and so it, should, it appears that whatever happened happened inside the vehicle. A tow truck driver reported the SUV here on Interchange Drive, a secluded area off I-10 at the Grand Bay exit. It's unclear how long the victims had been here. With the weather, the way it's been, it's really hard to tell. Um, I would say no more than a couple of days, two to three days. Captain Paul Birch says it's an area common for people to use drugs. Until an autopsy is conducted, investigators can't be sure what happened. But Birch says it appears to be a possible drug overdose. With this case, if in fact this is what happened, I would say that is something to be deathly afraid of. And, and you know, I, I would implore anyone who uses illegal drugs to think about that because there are, appears that there is a bad batch of drugs out there. And tonight, the sheriff's office confirmed a large quantity of what appeared to be crystal meth between the bodies. And a news release from Walton County, Florida, also very alarming. Two men, ages 27 and 33, found dead today. One off County Highway 3280, the other inside a business bathroom. Hypodermic needles and spoons found at the scenes in both cases. The Walton County Sheriff's Office believes the Florida cases involved defective or contaminated drugs.